Hey guys. Woo! See. Sorry, YouTube, I'm over here trying to get my live together at Facebook so they can join in too. How is everybody doing today on this beautiful Thursday? Waiting for some people to come into the room. Yep, 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 yep. many dishes but I like to always still wash dishes before I cook. Um, I don't never like to cook in a nasty kitchen. I cannot stand it at all. Brenda. 
So how I cook, you know, most most people, some 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 people, it takes them all day. It don't it don't take me long at all. And the way I was taught how to cook was you always put your now if you find some if you find something you always put your rice and your vegetable on and let your meat that you're gonna be cooking that you're frying you put that on um last. What kind of fish you got? Oh, I got some croaker. I like croaker, fresh croaker fish. And I got some um, tilapia for the children. Well, I keep saying children. You know, he's 26 with my, and the baby 12. But, yeah, I got uh, tilapia. He don't like fish with bone in it. So. Um, and for her, I wouldn't dare give her no fish with no bones in it. So I get the tilapia. They eat the bossa, but they didn't have any bossa fish. But that's, what I, that's the kind of fish I got today. Um, that's most of the fish that I eat is croaker. Uh, trout or either whiting or red snapper. I like I like those. But I, I never get the head on. I always get the head uh, cut off and um, split down the middle. Hey Janice, hey Tammy. Yeah, so um alright. Try this out. A little spoon wrestler. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna put my rice on first. Since it's just me and the, and the two kids today, because my husband is out still working on the road, he's gonna be back probably till Saturday. So I use a small pot to make some rice. I use the old school rice too, like you wash your rice and all that, but I use the quick rice too. So that on. Anytime I buy any vegetable cans from the grocery store, I always wash them off before I open them up. I learned that from when I was in nursing school uh, because you don't realize how many hands have, you know, touched the, you know, canned goods in the grocery store. So I always um, wash off my cans as well. Let some more of this water because we're back to, to the top. So you just take a little dish soap, put it on the top, and, and rinse it off. Make sure you get the soap off if you don't want to open up the can and have suds in your, your vegetables. I usually use frozen vegetables, but for something like this, I use canned. But the most most time we buy vegetables are going to be frozen. So. Okay, so I'm gonna set that aside because I am gonna be putting sausage in my okra corn and tomato. So I'm gonna go ahead and cook some sausage first. Let me get a chopping board. Uh, I use this one. And I use Roger Wood sausages. They are the best. I use these and also Georgia Boys. Georgia Boys, I like them because they don't have uh, a lot of grease in them. Okay. 
Okay. I got my bell pepper and my onion. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use this pan to um to cook my uh sausage in and my uh tomatoes and my I mean not tomato, <laughs> bell pepper and my onion. I'm get a bag to store that in. Chop some of these up real quick. When you're cooking a small portion, it shouldn't take that much uh, sausages. This might be just enough. So what I do is split them. Just cut them like that. Okay. <clears throat> Put a little oil in the pan. And get that. This is the rice I use, the quick rice, mini made rice. Okay. And then turn the fire down just a tad. And go ahead and put my sausage in. Okay, and then while that is Start, and I'm gonna go ahead and chop up my bit uh, onion and bell pepper. Hey Tammy, hey Diamond, hey Denise. Oh yeah, okay, a gumbo, okay. All right, Tyrol, Tyro. welcome everybody. Okay, so I'm gonna put this in here quick. Okay, and now, wash your sausage off at night. Okay, then I'm gonna cut up the bell pepper and onion. Then I take a, I don't know if y'all ever heard of this, but if you take a red onion and cut it up, you know, cut it like in slices and put it under the bottom of your feet in some socks overnight, it'll draw a lot of toxin at the bottom too. That's uh, Vidalia sweet onion. I got all my thing over here is clean. Okay. 
Hey, Kenya. Hey, for the new ones, it's just joining us. We're cooking okra corn, tomato, rice, sausage with fried fish. I'm going to take that and put it in with my sausage. <clears throat> and the way I was brought up is that you always, as you cook, you, you clean as you cook. You don't just let a pile of dishes just be in the sink while you're cooking. You know, wash up everything. So that way when you sit down and enjoy your meal, on the dish you have to wash is what you eat out of it. This lady it was a friend of my one of my brothers. And my, my brother that I'm talking about, he was a, a doctor. Uh, he was a doctor. He's passed away now. And um, he said he went to his friend's house and they were just sitting around, you know, drinking and, you know, chilling. And he said that she was cooking some, <clears throat> some greens or something. And uh, he said, and he was very nice nasty. So he the one, he the one talk, told me about washing and bleach. Put a little cap full of bleach in your water when you're taking a bath. You know, uh, a lot of physicians do that. It takes a lot of the dirt off the skin. And um, her fingernails, looked at, he said, her, the, <laughs> she asked him, did he want something to eat? And he looked at her fingernails, he said, no, that's okay. I said, why you say that? He said, because underneath her nails look like the bottom of some shoes. <laughs> I was like, no, I wouldn't eat that either. <laughs> so why that? like that. I've got to eat my pot out so I can get rid of this, put my um, corn, tomatoes, and the okra in it and get it started. And I put a little bleach in my dishwater to keep the rag, you know, 
thing. <clears throat> All right, so I'm gonna have to watch clean my fish. Clean some fish up so I can get some water out of here. My mom always said, add a cap full of bleach beside this water growing up. Absolutely, I know that's right, yeah. I can't stand to see nobody wash no dishes and the rag be so nasty. Whew. That grain. I think I got all the dishes washed. Yeah. One little fork here. Smells good. I love bell pepper on your inside. I know that's right, Roxanne. Hey, Nicolette. Those that are looking in, if you have not hit that follow button, please do. I greatly appreciate it. And if you just hit the like button, um, go back and hit the follow button. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you. All right. So. Subscribe to my channel. Just hit that subscribe button. Get the notification for the ding for the bell. Thank you. I'm trying to get a thousand followers on YouTube. I greatly appreciate it. All right. So now. It has to be um, burnt for me to eat it. Not burnt, you know, white, black burnt, but you know. Put my tomatoes in here. I rinse mine off. Even if it's been frozen, I still rinse it off. Hey, Doreen. Yeah, that little. 
Oh yeah, it does, Sammy. It sure do add a little flavor. <laughs> Can y'all see that? Mm, 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 mm. Let me YouTube channel see it too. So I just take it and put it in. in there. When I'm cooking, uh, like if I'm cooking something in the oven, like a, a different meat in the oven, I'll put that on first. Then put my rice and vegetables on. But if I'm frying, I'm going to put my rice vegetables on then that, that'd be the last thing I cook when I'm frying. Alright, so now mix that up. But I'm gonna go ahead and season it. So I'm gonna add some of this in there. Just a little bit. Okay. Put a little bit of adobe. A little bit of, I guess it's a saison, saison. Yep. Let's go for like stews and gumbos. Put a little bit of that in there. Put me a little bit of black pepper. And a little bit of pink salt. Just a little bit. I usually don't cook with salt, but this right here is it's pretty good. It don't take much. A little bit of, I don't use garlic salt, I use garlic powder. So, garlic powder. A little bit of Lowry season. I use that now. Just a little bit. Cause you, I, I, what I don't like is salty food. Oh my goodness, that's a turn on. And some people head, hands are heavy. So you people that have heavy hands should measure their uh seasoning you know when they do it but you know you just take a little sprinkle and then if it's not enough then you can always go back and season it but if you put a lot of seasoning in there you know at one time then now you can't take that out and so it's too salty and i just mix that
So I season it to taste. So what I'm gonna do is take and Perfect, I don't need to add nothing else to it. So I just let that cook. Get the cloth and wipe the stove. All right, that rice is done. So I'm using the top of that. Might be too big too. Yep, that's too big. All right, where's my top? There we go. Perfect. I like to do mine with corn, string beans because I don't like okra, but I was raised up on it. Oh, okay. You know, I never tried the um, strain beans with it. I bet you that is good. Good afternoon, ladies, for all those that came in. Thank you for watching. If you're not a follower yet, make sure you hit that follow button. I greatly appreciate it. Make sure y'all send me some hearts. Thank you for the hearts. And they're like, thank you, thank you, girl. Ladies, thank you. Appreciate it. Um, you know, we all sisters. We in this thing together. Okay, so now the only thing I have to do is prep my fish. I'm not finna fry it yet because I want to let that get halfway done. So, And what I do is, um, like after my uh, my little uh, uh, vegetables cook, I'll take um, a little cornstarch, mix it in some hot water, so I can make a little thickening to to um, what you call it gumbo, or whatever you know. So that way, when you put it over the rice, it won't be you know watery. Hey, darling, what's good, girl? <laughs> That's my queen right there. Hold on, Miss Connie. All right, so I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna clean this up first so that way I can have room to clean my fish. So tired I've been doing. Oh, Charlene, I'm from um, Florida, baby. Um, born and raised. I spent 45 years in, in Jacksonville. I'm so tired. I've been doing my house over all day. I'm just, oh, you're just getting something to eat. Oh, okay. What you doing? Um, 
re what you was redecorating it or just just you know you know doing the usual cleaning. Okay, so I, I'm this is a big croaker, so ain't nobody but me gonna eat the croaker, but that's the croaker fish. So And we usually, I usually try to have my family dinner done or whatever we're going to eat. We usually try to eat the four or five or the latest at six o'clock. And after that, if we eat something, there's something to snack on. But usually we try to have dinner done uh, by then. Let me see if that's going to be big enough. Yeah. All right, and then they got this fish. They got uh, some laughing fish. So, like I said, I usually buy bossa, but they didn't have any, so. <clears throat> you know what, I'm gonna transfer this in another bag. Oh, I got a new bedroom suit, living room suit, and did the back. All right, girl. Well, congratulations. <laughs> hey, CC, send me a piece of that through U.S. mail. <laughs> girl, not U.S. mail. <laughs> it probably be no good by the time you get it to come through them and to go through all them machines. <laughs> you, need to, you need to come and make me some of that soup. Uh, what did I used to make? Shrimp salad. You need to make me some of that. When I come to Florida, make me some of that. I'm going to take these and put them in this bag. <clears throat> I'm going to show you, um, Darlene, I mean, I like to like do old furniture and take it and redo it. So I'm going to show you some things that I did. Um, one was a bar set that my niece, the one that um, passed away, that she had gave me before she passed, and she gave me two, two bookcases, and I still got it. And then my husband's sister, when she passed, uh, she had like this nice buffet with a heavy marble thing for it. So I'm gonna show you what I did with all of it was brown. The bar set was brown, the bookcases was brown, and the buffet was brown. But I'm gonna show you what I did with it. And the mirror. Um. Okay. All right, so vegetables are cooking. Season this fish real quick. Make sure this water don't fall on the floor. Yeah, 
passed away so I don't know I just always had a, a nick for taking stuff and redoing it you know oh and I did the bar stools too these bar stools these bar stools used to be flour something but I redid them and oh and the bookcase let me show you that too and that's one of the bookcases I got the other bookcase in the garage um but yeah that's the other one I did it used to be brown as well Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, Trish. I see you here, sister. Oh, okay. All right. Thank you for being in the house, boo. <laughs> oh, and I see your post earlier when you said about the 333. I said, now look at that. That was nothing but the Trinity. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Okay. Put this phone back up here on this thing. Okay. So, what is the phone? Um, okay, whatever. I don't know what's going on. There we go. Okay. Like, what is going on? All right. You too, I'm back. Thank you. Yeah, so that's what I like to do uh, in my spare time. Uh, I like to paint too, like um, in, in the house, because I did, um, thank you, Charlene. I did, uh, well, I had our garage floor done. If y'all ever seen any, um, people have the garage painted and they have the little specks in it. So we had, uh, they had to come and re fix it anyway. So I had them to put it down, but usually I would have, I would have did it myself, but I painted the walls. So I did, my, out, inside the, our home is the walls, they look white, but they're not, they're like a, a grayish tone. So I did the garage a, a little shade darker. Um, I painted that. So, yeah, that's what I like to do. And I and I like to and like and I like um, fashions. That's yeah, that, that's that's my niche. I like I like clothing, putting stuff together. You know, different art colors, uh, different textiles. Yep. <clears throat> trying to get some of this more stuff this cabin. I'm going to show y'all something to it. If you got if you have uh, granite countertops, uh, I'm going to show you this stuff that I use. I think it was like 20 something. It's about 20 something dollars. Um but it's real good and it helps like you know keeping the rings of water like if you put a glass on the counter or something like that but this is right here where is it oh. this right here i use that for my uh and it, and it seals it you know so that way you won't have like uh water spots and stains on it So now I'm going to season the fish. Oh, it's boiling now. Oh, yeah. I'm going to turn it down just a little. While I'm doing that, I'm gonna get some hot water and a glass.
And it's the old fashioned way of making a thickening to your, to your dish. Just a little bit more. You don't want it to be soupy, but you want to have a look of thickening to it, so, yeah. Oh, you do have the same color top, Darlene? Okay. Yeah, um, yeah, she's in school. She um we she's homeschooled. Um, I you know, because of her superpowers, I didn't want to put her in brick and mortar. Um, she's 12, and she is she can um she can talk, she can talk, she can ask for things, um, she don't hold long conversations and um, she don't strike up a conversation, but if you ask her something, she'll respond. Um, so I don't feel comfortable with her in brick and mortar because you have some children are so, uh, um, some be bullied, some be mean, you know, and I don't want her to be bullied. I don't want her to be mistreated. So I chose to homeschool her. Um, I know when we were in Atlanta, um, one of the schools they wanted to send her to, um, it, she was going to be the only, only girl in the classroom with a bunch of boys. And I think the oldest boy in the class was an eighth grader, but he was autistic. And so I didn't want her to be touched inappropriately and she couldn't, you know, explain a tale. You see what I'm saying? So that's why we homeschool her. Yeah, but yeah, she's yeah she's in school. That only today they didn't have class because of um, teachers, some kind of teachers' day or whatever they had. But yeah, she she be in class every day. She get uh, homeschool. She get uh, online speech therapy, occupational therapy, and outside from home she get uh, occupational therapy and speech therapy as well. Yep. Mm-hmm. So now I'm about to season this fish. Yeah, I don't I don't plan on ever bringing her on camera. Uh I've seen <laughs> how people can be so evil and I, I I I don't I don't trust people like that that well, so I don't I don't mm -mm. I don't think I'm gonna ever bring her on camera. But this is what I put on my fish. You know, everybody sees the fish differently. Some people just use Old Bay. Um, I use a pinch of it, not much, because it's so powerful, you know? So, but got Old Bay as well.
Yes, keep her off of pe people so evil these days. Absolutely. Yeah. No, nah, baby. If they're going to talk about anybody, they're going to talk about me. That's what they're going to see. <laughs> and I know how to give it to them good. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why people like that, but they are. It's, it's crazy. Oh, <laughs> oh, you already know, darling, huh? <laughs> yes, ma'am, honey. Yeah, I don't care. They can talk about me all day because I can defend me, you know? And and anything they ooh, anything they say about me, you know. One thing I learned, I, I learned in life is people gonna talk about you regardless if you're doing good or you're doing bad. Let them talk. It's what you answer to. So you can say whatever you want about me, but it's what I respond to, you know. Cause they don't know me. They don't know me. They probably heard about me, or uh, you know, on the way they learn know anything about my my past is what I put in my book, and I put it in the in a book for everybody in the world to see. So ain't ain't no shame in my game, honey. And and, and if you want to know anything about me, always ask me. Get it from the horse's mouth. Then you ain't got to assume. You ain't got to wonder. You ain't got to say, I heard. You gonna say, I know, because she told me. Yep. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. All right, that's all, that's all the seasoning I put on my um, fish. And some people like mix they um season it in their they uh like your batter, your fish batter. I don't. I just use meal. You'll see, I'm gonna use a little bit of meal, a little bit of cornstarch, and um a little bit of, if I have some fish batter, I'll put a little bit of that in there, and that's pretty much it. Smelling so good. <laughs> Rice off. Give me some oil for my fish. That's I always say, come to me and I'll tell you better. Absolutely. Anything you want to know about somebody, just go to them. They can tell you better than anybody else can tell you. That's for sure. Anytime somebody come to you and say, he say, she say, honey, say, no, tell me what you say. Because <laughs> it always take two to talk. Never come tell me what somebody else say and you don't tell me what you say. And they always use the term, they say, well, who in the world is they? Hey, Brick, 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 Br
Tammy Rush, thank you. Oh, okay. <laughs> yep. Yes, ma'am. All right, now I'm getting ready to fire the, uh, the grease, the oil, whatever, um, so I can, you know, do my fish. But let me get my batter together. This is what I do. Hold on. Um, I make my own barbecue sauce too. I'm gonna tell y'all something else is good. If, um, a cucumber salad, now that's real good too. You, a cucumber salad, you, you, I use, uh, let me show you. Okay, so I use this sugar. We don't use white sugar we use brown raw sugar uh is better it's healthier than the um white processed sugar so we use this sugar so i use a little bit of this i shave the you know the skin off the cucumber slice it and rinse it off and then i use a little bit of this in a bowl with some honey okay and then with that i use um Okay, then with that I use, um, with the honey in there with the sugar, you, you know, mix it a little bit, you know, to, you don't use a whole lot, you don't take a whole lot. Okay, and then I take um, this rice vinegar, the seasoned one, pour a little bit of that in, and then the roasted garlic one, the purple top, and, and pour that in, and mix it up real good, and I put a little bit of that pink salt in it, and a little black pepper, um, and I also put an onion in there, uh, a sweet Vidalia onion in it, and then you mix it up real good, and then what you do is, after you slice your cucumbers, you just, uh, in a little dish or whatever, and then you just pour that over it. You talking about something good now, that's real good too. Hello for those that just came in. Thank you for following. So yeah, I'm gonna use a little bit of cornmeal. I'm, oops. I'm gonna use a little fish, uh, New Orleans style fish fry. Okay, and then I'm gonna use a little bit of cornstarch. It up like that. And then, um, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and put theirs in there first because mine's so big, so I'm. is good for cornmeal too. Um, like if you have, um, I have like several cutting boards. So like bo wood boards like this, wooden spoons. What you do is uh, after you clean them, then you get some cornmeal and rub over them that bring the shine back to them.
And that's pretty much it. I use a lot of paper towels, I know. <laughs> My husband tells me that all the time. It's a habit. That's why I buy so many. Cause I, you know, use them to clean stuff. And like when I'm cleaning, house cleaning, <clears throat> if y'all, if y'all haven't heard, or many of you probably have, like the white er erasers uh, by was the Mr. the Mr. Clean. I use those. All you do is just wet it and wipe your walls. And, you know, keep your walls clean. Your your handrails down. You know, with, you know, for our staircase. Um, and like you know, uh, when I'm cleaning the bathrooms and stuff like that, we use plenty of paper towels and. Those, you know, because they're disposable. You do too, uh huh. Yep. So. Take a little bit of this. And hear that sizzle? That grease almost hot and ready. So I'll be putting the fish in there. I want to like, I like to make my way to my grease is hot because if you put it in there too soon, then it'll, your, your meat will break, you know. So I like to use this tongue because it got the flat part as well as the tongue part, so I like to use that one. I think that grease is about ready. Okay. Now I can take my fish and put it in there. Anytime I get fish like this, fresh, fresh water fish, I always get the head turned, uh, cut off and the uh, head is split because I don't want to eat nobody's fish with no head on. My mama used to eat the, she used to eat the, um, the head on and the, and the um, fish rolls. You know, remember the, the fish rolls? I think that was out of, I don't know what kind of fish that is, trout or whoever, whatever kind of fish it is that had a, a, a fish rolls in it. She used to fry them and eat them. Ugh, no. I'll eat that and I'll eat rutabagas. I don't eat oxtail. Even though I was raised up on stuff like that, but I, I don't eat it. Okay, so my fish should be good and coated. <clears throat> Anybody else cooking anything today? Or y'all already cooked? Or y'all ate out? Or what, what did y'all do today?
Not today for you? Oh, okay. <laughs> I have a um, I have a um, water dispenser on my refrigerator, but this right here, this is some good water. This alkaline water, this is very good. Oh, you may make a, what kind of salad you gonna make, um, darling, a chicken salad or just a regular toss salad? Yes, we eat out of paper plates. So today I'm gonna serve on a, a plate, but you know, for the baby I put a paper plate, but always this is a habit because you know uh, paper plates have the little shavings on it and stuff, so I always rinse plastic cups, I always rinse it off. I don't like nobody digging in the center of my rice. Ooh. <laughs> Can't stand that either. Just a quick meal.
You eat, you say I eat out of them too, so they don't feel bad. I get the big pack of them. What's that? Um, the big pack of what, um, darling? For her, I have to break hers up. Make sure it don't look too nice. I like to pour a little bit of juice on mine. Yeah. Oh, page plate. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, I do, uh, you mean, um, yeah, I like the, um, hefty plates, those other kind of plates, they be too thin. You know it's gonna go down right here on that fish. <laughs>
Andres, wash up so you fix the drink, son. Y'all had to take mine out of the grease because it coats the bread. And dinner is ready. <clears throat> That's my husband calling. I'll call him back.